Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this very nice song called Lit from Ko no Katachi, okay? So here we go. Give you a preview, a very nice theme you're going to learn. Check it out. It. And you can actually repeat it and with like a lot of like improvisations to make it very epic. You can be like Let's get right into it, melody and chords, because that's the foundation of it, okay? It's not difficult once we learn it, okay? And it's really fun because it's very easy to improvise on top of these chords as well. So here we go, let's learn it, break it up into two parts, it's easy to learn. Uh, yeah, okay, actually it's, you can say it's four parts, okay? Four parts, okay? First part goes like this, right hand starts on G sharp here, so just above middle C, so G sharp, F sharp, A, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, A, and that's it for the first part. One more time for the first part, so it goes G sharp, F sharp, A, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, A. And that's it for the right hand. Left hand, two chords here, the two chords are E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Second chord is first inversion of B major, which is D sharp, F sharp, B. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so E major and first inversion of B major. Two hands together goes like this, G sharp and E major together. Second G sharp and chord together. That's it for the first part. One more time, it goes ta -da. Ta -da. Moving on to the second part, right and continue, it goes two G sharps. F sharp, A, G sharp down to C sharp, D sharp, E, like that. One more time, it goes two G sharps. F sharp, A, G sharp down to C sharp, D sharp, E, that's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have four chords here for the second part, the four chords are First inversion of B minor, which is D, F sharp, B. Then second chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. Third chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. And fourth chord is C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. All right, so with these four chords in mind, so first inversion of B minor, A major, B major, C sharp minor. The two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts in the first G sharp, second G sharp, and the chord together. C sharp and A major together. D sharp, B major together. E and C sharp minor together, like that. One more time, it goes like this. Together, 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 like that. Okay, so back to back, the two parts of learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. Like that, okay. And then the third part is actually exactly the same as the first part, so you just repeat it. And then the fourth and last part is actually nearly exactly the same as the second part. Everything is actually exactly the same, but we have an extra note on the right hand and extra chord on the left hand. So same thing. Same, 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 same. And then we add an extra right hand note up to the G sharp here. And then left hand is D sharp half diminished, which is D sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp as the chord. And you play it together like that. Check it out here, look at the notes right here. So left hand is D sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp, and the right hand is G sharp, so check it out. Okay, so that's that. Okay, can you see, so it's like da 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 and an extra note in chord. Yeah, so that's the fourth part. Yeah, so you can easily get it once you learn the first two parts, because essentially, once you learn the first two parts, the third part is the same as the first part, the fourth chord is the same as the second part, but with an extra G sharp on the right hand and the D sharp half diminished chord together at the end. Okay, so I hope you got those patterns. So back to back, all four parts will be played like this. Check it out.
Okay, so once you've got all these melody and chords of these uh, notes right, uh, and all the rhythm correct, then you can start to think of other improvisation and decoration patterns to put into it. You can do rhythmic patterns, you can do octave and arpeggio patterns on the left hand. Right hand, you can harmonize the bass on the chords too. So you can just be like... pretty much it's a very nice theme for you to play you can play it calmly or you can play it really epic and grand by adding improvisation it's really up to you have fun with it it's not difficult it's like you can do a lot of improvisations on it because it's not a very difficult chord pattern yeah as for now that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this lesson if you did make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of these videos for you to enjoy and learn from so most likely you can find your favorite song to learn and enjoy for yourself okay also check out my website best pianomethod.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music play and sing and a lot of other cool stuff so make sure to check it out enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time thanks for watching for those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear grab the free preview of my book or just visit my website bestpianomethod.com for all my other piano mastery courses sheet music song requests and services all the links are in the description below. See you next time.